This is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the coil efficiency and also in addition we're going to be also talking about the bypass factor and the apparatus viewpoint. All right, so let's get into it. To begin with, uh, I'm going to choose another color. Let's see, this is going to be, okay, let's see, uh, yellow. So that's the coil that what we know, okay? Coil. So uh, as we know, the coil has the return and the supply. So this is going to be the return and this is going to be the supply. Okay. So when we're talking about the coil efficiency, this may, this basically depends on the temperature. So the temperature that is entering and the temperature that is exiting. So entering and leaving temperature and also the temperature of the coil. So what happens is that the temperature of the coil is also called the apparatus dew point. It's kind of a fancy word. So when you're having psychrometric or your your psychrometric your psychrometric chart is next to you and they usually call it apparatus dew point. But that's actually the coil itself, the coil temperature. So the coil efficiency, let's put in here coil efficiency and then coil efficiency. The coil efficiency is based on the temperatures. So which temperature? We're going to have the temperature that is leaving, the temperature that is entering. So let's put this temperature one, this put, let's put temperature two, and this is leaving, or outlet, and this is entering, or inlet. And the coil will be T3, or Tx, or Ty. In this case, we're going to be we're call it, we're going to call it three, so that way we're consistent with the numbers one, two, and three. And also, we're, uh, it's important to remember that this is also called the ADP, ADP, apparatus dew point. And this is apparatus apparat apparatus apparatus dew point. Dew point. Okay, there we go. And okay, so if we if we're talking about the coil efficiency, the formula itself it will be the following. Okay, let's put another color. Let's say white. So the coil efficiency. Oh, and also this is very important to mention that the coil efficiency is also related to the contact factor. Okay, so coil efficiency is contact factor, and also is represented by the Greek word, uh, eta, eta, okay? Contact factor, eta, coil efficiency, the same. So what's the formula? Let's, oh, what's the formula? Let's put it down here and we're gonna put it in white. So the formula of the, of the contact factor equals to the opposite of the bypass factor. So in other words, a better way to measure the efficiency of the coil is to see how imperfect is the coil. So bypass factor is the imperfection of the coil and therefore that's the efficiency. By saying that, for example, let's say in uh, commercial buildings, in commercial buildings, the bypass factor BF is usually about um, 10%. So it's 10% inefficient, 10% is not perfect. Say in residential, in residential, in residential, usually this is um, bypass factor, which is BF equals to say 30%, 35%, 40%. There we go. So in other words, uh, in residential, the bypass factor is 35%, which is 35% inefficient. Therefore, the contact factor or coil efficiency is going to be 1 minus the 35%, which is 65% efficient, okay? So in other words, in order to, that's going to be on, uh, one uh, formula number one. Let's put this into a box. See, this is formula number one. Contact factor one minus bypass factor. This is formula number one. Formula number two is related to the bypass factor. Okay, so what is the bypass factor? Let's see, bypass factor BF. We didn't put this 
anywhere. Okay, so let's put BF, that's the bypass factor, bypass factor. And also CF, let's put this as a contact factor. And this is all related with air. So bypass factor, contact factor, and this is how inefficient it is. This is uh, contact factor is how efficient is the coil. Uh, for example, in this case, let's say that the coil is 10% bypass factor. So 10% of the air is not in contact with the coil. Therefore, the contact factor is going to be 90%. Okay? It's just an example. See? The opposite. All right. So in other words, if we're able to know this variable, which is the bypass factor, by default, we're going to be able to get the contact factor. So what is the bypass factor? So that is bypass factor for two uh, configurations. So there's going to be bypass factor for cooling. And there's going to be for heating. OK, so let's continue with the formula. So the bypass factor is going to be equal to the following. The bypass factor equals to the temperature that is leaving, which in this case, leaving temperature is going to be T2 minus the apparatus dew point, T3. We're going to put that in a different color because that's very important too. So that's very important. Uh, let's put in yellow. The apparatus dew point is T3. And everything divided by the other temperature. The other temperature is entering temperature, and that's going to be te temperature 1 minus the apparatus dew point temperature, which is temperature 3. OK, so that's the formula, formula number 2. There we go. Formula number two, okay, and this is for cooling. That's for cooling. Okay, so if we want to talk, uh, if we're gonna, uh, if we're going to consider heating purposes, we just switch the equation. So the equation is going to be the following in this case. So the bypass factor equals to the apparatus dew point temperature, T three and T3 minus T2 and T1, okay? So that's going to be my formula number three. There you go. It's going to be number three, and that's for heating purposes. Any purposes. All right. So what we're seeing in this video is the, uh, I'm going to put this in red. What we're seeing in this video is CF, which is the contact factor. BF, which is the bypass factor. And T3, which is, which is the ADP apparatus dew point. Okay. So Apparatus dew point actually is the temperature of the coil, and the temperature of the coil is at 100% saturation. So uh, I'm going to elaborate on that a little bit better. So it says for ADP, see, apparatus dew point. Let's put apparatus again, dew point. Okay, so the apparatus dew point is going to be located in the psychrometric chart, like this. And as we remember from other videos, the relative humidity are in these curves. For example, this is going to be like uh, 50 is relative humidity, this is going to be like 80, this is going to be like, say, 80%. This is going to be like, um, say, 50%. It comes to the point that 
the relative humidity is saturated when we're saying that it's at 100% relative humidity. So at that point, when the temperature is that, at that point, that's what it's called apparatus dew point right here. That's the point. That's what we call apparatus dew point. Let's put in here a T3. Okay? Also, it's, it, it's also important to mention that the temperatures are dry bulb. Uh, this is dry bulb temperatures. So let's put in here T are dry bulb temperatures. Dry bulb temperatures. Temperatures. All right. Well, so in this video, I'm, I'm going to put this in red too. There you go. All right. So just to summarize this, uh, we what we're, what we're seeing in here is the coefficient, which is related to the bypass factor and the apparatus dew point. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. All right. Thanks so much.